feel like that's what we lack as a UK industry. Like everyone's Facts. just in their own like bubble. Rather than kind of <laughs> trying to bring up everyone, everyone's just trying to. It's a mess, bro. Thing. Like it's all over the place. DJ Firestar keeping it smashed. DJ Firestar, influential records, Spotify, YouTube. I'm not new to this. All of that. Come on. My brother in the building. Yo. Zai Zai. What's there, man? We're What's going on, family? I'm good, bro. How are you? I'm good, man. Like, obviously, I don't even really know where to start, bro. Like, you know, I told you when we, when we linked up. Mm -hmm. We linked up last week. Mm -hmm. uh, that was kind of sick. It we was. start with that, actually. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I was passing through the, um, the Gunner. Boohoo collab. Boohoo, collab, flex. You're always at these things anyway, uh, flexing, uh, man. You get invited to all the, all the hot spots, man. Always, but always there, man. Always there. I walked in, and it's one of them ones where, you know, when... I didn't know what I was walking into. I didn't know who I was going to see. You know, you know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so when you see a familiar face, it's, it's nice. You know what I mean? It just cool, puts man nice. at ease. It's been a minute as well. We ain't linked up in a minute. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You've been, you've been busy oh, shelling, you've been busy shelling so. shows, bro. Oh, you get me? Oh, oh. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to really start, bro. Like, I mean, I know you've told the story about the come up a lot and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't want to go too far back. But for me personally, like, one of the things that I would want to say to you is obviously you've been in the game for a minute. Mm -hmm. How have you found, like, the musical journey to this point, bro? Like, talk to me a little bit about where we're at, how it's been going, little bit of the highs and lows like let's just jump into it bro right, cool well starting from like the beginning of lockdown car that's kind of where everything kind of started when it comes to like things changing a little bit so obviously everything going smooth obviously everyone was outside doing shows traveling everything was calm and then when lockdown came like all up until the point where i started to lock down like everything was just like smooth everything was just kind of working normally but then lockdown came just like it kind of had to change in the direction of how people approach things because it kind of showed who's really about this life when it comes to the music stuff, you feel me? Right. Like, a lot of people from lockdown aren't here now, you feel me? Facts. Because obviously this music stuff, is not all fun and games. Like, it affects some people's mental sometimes. So it's like a very difficult thing for some people to go through sometimes. And if you're very strong-minded, it kind of helps you a lot in this music stuff because it's not for the weak-hearted. Are you, are you, just to interrupt, like, are you talking about the impact of, like, making music the creative side of it or the impact of like just like how that period affected the money in terms of getting booked for the shows and that slowing down the, the progress like the for mental, you like the mental and the money also because obviously as a musician a lot of your income comes from shows and because everyone's locked off from doing shows people are losing hundreds of thousands millions of pounds so it was a very like it was a dark it was a dark time because it's like it's never happened before in Facts. this music stuff, so yeah, for it to yeah, happen, yeah. like not a lot of people kind of knew how to handle it. But with me, I'm a very, I would like to say I'm a very like sociable person because before this music stuff, like I was on the kind of content creator type of vibe. Oh, you know man. I, mean? I was just trying to do anything to just be seen. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Me? So it was like when TikTok came about now, I was kind of like in my bag in a sense of like, I like to post, I like for people to kind of see my personality because a lot of people are like that, you know? A lot of people kind of close off or quite reserved. So I kind of wanted to utilize it. If I'm not going to be performing, people somehow need to still see my face. So we're still releasing tune. And during this lockdown time, Rover was um, starting to go off on TikTok. And um, before that even was going crazy, I was in Shepherd's Bush one time before lockdown even struck down. I was just getting some um, pizza in Shepherd's Bush and Simba actually came up to me and was like, yo bro, I know you're in Zaza, like, could you shout out my tune? Right oh, there? sick. So I was like, of course, man. Because with me, I'm, for me, if you approach me with respect, I always show love. 100%. So obviously took the snap done my thing and then obviously when it comes to Rover going crazy now he remembered that moment you feel me like that went mad as well that record I mean? people always remember these moments so it's always good to show love to the up and coming because sometimes people just want to feel me have a mad ego but me like the younger generation is what's now you feel me always got to show love to who's coming up so that Rover record definitely helped me a lot coming into like out of lockdown you get me but you already had the you already had joints yeah I had like you's already I had you in it, but you need you know sometimes you just need some <laughs> new joints because people sometimes stay hooked onto the old ones. So <laughs> you feel me? You need some new bangers. So yeah, Robot introduced me to releasing some more bangers in lockdown, which luckily kept me afloat, able to kind of keep myself by by the time lockdown was done. So when lockdown was done, straight to shows, performing Robot, performing the old tune bangers. So it's like everything kind of worked in my favour because I stayed consistent, even though it was dark, I was looking crazy. I was looking bummy during lockdown. 
but you had to keep it going, man. I had to keep it going. I can't lie. And musically and like creatively, you were still, you still felt you was able to get busy in that time. And I had to, you know. Yeah. We got a booth in my crib, so I was like, oh, sick. Just locking down, like my my um, cousin, Big Up Fonjo. He's an engineer and also a producer. I was literally just in his room, just on live, banging out tunes, banging out beats, asking people to send beats, send open verses, just making sure we stay consistent. Car, we weren't like. Because we come from nothing, yeah, you don't yeah. want to go back to that, you feel me? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Now we've kind of made something of ourselves, we just have to keep it moving. Yeah. Is it is it difficult when you've got a record like Fine Girl and the scale of that record, even now, mm -hmm. to this day, like mm -hmm. I was telling you off camera, I was just checking, having a little look yesterday, that like shit's on like 45 mil. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, that's just on YouTube alone, for, mm -hmm. I don't even know about the other streaming sites. Uh -huh. And But what does that look like for you in terms of like, yes, of course, it's a certified, but like, I still run it, mm -hmm. like straight up, like mm -hmm. it gets yeah. run, like, um, but performing it, does it get tiring? Like I can imagine like a lot of people, some, oh, artists have different views. Mm -hmm. When they've got a, one record that is the standout, obviously that's staple to mm -hmm. the set, mm -hmm. probably the finisher, the closer. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, nobody wants to be just known for that one. Is it hard to match the levels are you always competing, basically like, oh shit, you know, that, look what that's done. Are you always fighting to try and better that? Is you know, there a lot of stress in that? Like, how does Personally it... with me, because when I even, like, me starting this music stuff was just a spontaneous thought. Like I never, because obviously when people start music, sometimes you just have that thought, like if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Because it just ended up happening and ended up working, I've always appreciated 100,000 views, 100,000 streams. Like, because sometimes people, I don't know, what it's like for people how they see it now, but I feel like people are very focused on numbers and it's like, you can have someone that's got 20,000 followers and be able to sell out a certain arena and then you have someone with like 500K followers and they got, like, it doesn't really differentiate. It doesn't always match. It doesn't, it doesn't always differentiate, you feel me? Yeah. So it's a core fan base that's important. So as long as I've got kind of that core fan base, whatever I put out, I don't really, because there's sometimes people, I'll oh, make a song like Fine Girl, like what people don't understand, you can't make you can. another song like that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, those yeah, ones yeah. are like for that time and it's like you kind of got to move on, even though obviously it's a big tune, I never kind of think, oh, I need to make another song like that. Like, do you know what I mean? Like a song will come, if one goes crazy, it goes crazy. If it don't, then it's for my fans and my fans would just appreciate it. So I don't really so, focus too much. So what's the key to like, when you've got a record like that, mm -hmm. there's a lot of men that have had hits. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, again, we were talking about this last week when we linked up, you know, we mm -hmm. touched on, we got to touch on the performance side of it. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, we spoke about that. But we'll get into it in here as well. But like uh, when you've got a record like that and certain men have got, they've come, they've done a big tune and then like they have a moment mm -hmm. and it's just a moment, mm -hmm. like what we're saying. Right. Mm -hmm. But you've managed to stay consistent and be getting shows mm -hmm. and get that bread and get those bookings and like still in demand, whether it's international, like I've sat with, you know, I've sat with many artists and, you know, recently I was sitting with Burner and we were saying like, we, the, we're in this mm -hmm. to, of course, like we've got a passion creatively, musically, as a DJ, whatever. But one of the best things is like being able to go overseas, bro. Like, and just exp like this music thing can take you to places you, mm -hmm. you know, I've been out there doing shows in Milan, for example, mm -hmm. man's in Marbella, like Norway, you know, and you've experienced a lot of these places. Mm -hmm. Like, what's that feeling like, is my question, mm -hmm. to be able to go overseas and do shows? And how, how do you manage to, what is it, what's the key essentials to basically keep getting the shows? Like, what I'm referring to is basically, mm -hmm. is it the team around you, mm -hmm. behind the scenes? Like, give a little bit of game on, like, how you've managed to, like, still keep it popping basically. Do you know what it is? The man just got motion. I'm not gonna lie yeah. to you. Like we just, as a collective, sometimes people like to be a lone soldier, but you can't do things by yourself all the time. You feel me? Like you gotta have certain people in your, in your team that are able to put you in certain rooms and have certain conversations. So with me, it's like, what separates me from other people in the industry, even though I've had big songs like Fine Girl, even these bust down senses, mm, like mm, all these mm. big tunes, like they don't know me. I'm like a unknown character to such big songs. So. It's like my songs have way more longevity because people don't really know me. Right. They know my music, but they don't know me. So when it's like they get to see me perform, it's like, oh my gosh, I needed someone I was younger. 
and I get to actually see the guy now and this is who it is because a lot of people are shocked people are all thinking I was all 30 and that like for me people are all thinking I'm growing like I'm a young man everyone was listening to my tunes almost the same age you feel me so it's like what's kept me being able to do shows and stuff it's like people have never really got to see my face they've always heard my songs here and there but because they haven't seen me live and they don't really know me as a person just maybe me as an artist it kind of helps because it's like I'm still fresh in the sense of people get to kind of go back to their childhood memory and actually get to see the person that I was kind of listening to. So it's like, a lot of it definitely goes to just showing my face more. Cause I didn't really like to, like I didn't come into the scene with value or nothing, but it was just like, I don't really, I'm a very private person. I'm very but reserved. then like, so to add to that, what you're basically, are you basically saying like, it's like, it's like a staged approach where like, they might not know your personality, mm -hmm. but there's a whole level there that you can unlock. And basically when they come and see a performance or, you're on the socials, mm -hmm. it's like another level unlocked where it's like people buy into that as well, like the personality kind of thing. It's kind of both, that... it's kind of both, you know, because yeah, like people, like even when I'm, like I can walk around happily unless you kind of know, like if you ask anyone, people don't even know how to pronounce my name, probably like my name's pronounced Zai Zai. A lot of people for years, even until now, know me as Zizi. So yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, facts. when they find out my name Zai Zai, it's like, <laughs> You get me another character a lot, so it's like another person to kind of indulge into. Like people obviously like my old songs and stuff, but when they just see me and like, oh, okay, cool, so he's young, his name's pronounced Zai Zai. It's like kind of, they're just reminding themselves of me. So it's like kind of being able to open new doors for me. Whereas before, even though I was on the top, I still wasn't like at these big, like I think I did wireless only once. Mm. You feel me? Like I never in my life have got to perform that big tune fan go at a, headlining at a festival, Reading, like none of these, like no one's got to actually experience that. And everyone in this country knows where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. So there's like, there's a lot more shows I'm able to do just because people haven't actually put me in those rooms and on those stages with people that are kind of on the same caliber as me, you feel me? Is it essential to be able to show the personality as an artist now on TikTok? Is it something that you think like it's a given for any new artist or can um, man still, can man still get success in the game without having to do all of that stuff if they're not comfortable with it? Because, you know, a lot of men, like we're saying, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. they might have a one tune, they might not be strong on the socials, maybe even the label might not be telling them the right thing, or mm -hmm. they might just not have the... Do you know what I mean? It's individual mm -hmm. to each person, right? Mm -hmm. But essentially, like, is it crucial to, to have all of that happening to find success, like, in the current, like, state? Of the game from what you're seeing you know what unintentionally not necessarily because people if you focus on having a song going crazy on tiktok you're just going to be like going on loops you feel me going crazy you just it's more consistency because people all these people that you've seen go crazy on tiktok that wasn't their first song that they've ever released you feel me like they've had to consistently release and then maybe just what all it takes that one song hmm. Literally, all it takes that one song and like the main thing i feel like is just consistency even though a lot of people don't want to be on socials i feel like now especially like you're saying, it's definitely important for you to kind of have people feel something when they're listening to his music. So I feel like a lot of people now maybe not, not really want to relate to much music that's going on because a lot of rappers talk about certain things that people can't afford, for example. Like yeah, yeah, the stuff yeah. that people are talking about now, people can't really relate to their music no more because they're talking about Rich and Millie's and all these different things. Whereas before, they were talking about the come up. You feel me? So I just feel like people want to kind of if they're not going to relate to your music, they want to be able to relate to you as a person. So I feel like you showing yourself on shows sort of, is definitely important to kind of guide people towards to wanting to listen to your music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, I hear that for sure. And like, where does that take you now into the current, like, let's talk about a little bit about like where we're at, where you're mm -hmm. at with it now. I know you've got the new joint mm -hmm. with, uh, what's it, Tally, is it Tally Storm? Tally Storm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, 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 I know about her a little uh, bit. She's played uh, with... I remember I was DJing and she was playing on the, you know, this, the celeb yeah, basketball yeah, game that yeah, takes place. Yeah, She's yeah. on that shit every right, year, man. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, obviously you got that one. Mm -hmm. Like, how in the game now for you with the management structure that you've got around you and mm -hmm. things like that, like, what's it like for you making music and like maybe you connecting with the artists that you want to connect with and all that? Is that all smooth now? Like, do you, do you still get situations where like you hit a man to, collab and it doesn't you know mm -hmm. uh, what's the energy like like for you, you know, in the game like, like for me like i'm from the hood you get me i'm just a real dude like personally i treat i don't really treat the streets like how i treat the industry but it's more i have the mentality of like the type of person i am i have no pride you feel me like having pride as a man is a 
it's a blessing and a curse at the same yeah, time. Yeah, facts. Me? And I'll message anyone, I'll hit up anyone, as long as I've messaged them and either got response or not got response, I at least tried. You get me? Like, you can't really pro, like, you can't really have any progress in life if you don't try. Yeah, So yeah, yeah. I'll hit up artists. Some people will be like, yeah, they'll hit me up. Some people have the cheek to even air me. Like, it's all it's, about respect, bro. You get me? At the end of the day, it's, at the end of the day, it's all about respect. You if me? you don't, uh, like, you, you, like, what's the saying? What, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You know them exactly, ones? Like, exactly, sometimes exactly. if you don't ask, no one's even going to know that you're there or that you, you even want to do something. You but, you know, I think, again, even on the last episode that man dropped, like, I was saying, like, this game, everyone's got a different, like, maybe agenda or mm -hmm. motive. Mm -hmm. And for me, kind of repeating what I said in that, really, but it was like, I always wanted to be in this game to do what I love, which is play rhythms, but to also, it was important for me to earn the respect of people that I respect. That doesn't mean everyone, because mm -hmm. not everyone's going to like you, and, you know, mm -hmm. we know that. Mm -hmm. But certain man, it was like, I want the nod from these man because I'm in a black music space. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? 100%. Like I'm a guest, but I've, my whole life has been dedicated to the craft. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly. And I think it just comes back to it, like respect is like just everything in the yeah, game. Yeah. You feel me? The manners don't cost nothing. You feel me? Literally, manners don't cost nothing. Just showing people love sometimes. OGs, young Gs, like whoever's just like if we're all in the same industry. I just that's because I feel like that's what we lack as a. UK industry, like everyone's Thanks. just in their own like bubble rather than kind of <laughs> trying to bring up everyone, everyone's just trying to. It's a mess, bro. Thing. Like it's all over the place. It's a hot mess in the UK, the you know. Place. Like, man was out in, I was out in the US towards the back end of last year, mm -hmm. and bro, like the amount of like energy and like the way they work over there, it's different. And the love, like, I've seen people talk about it recently saying, Oh, the UK is like, well, different opinions, right? Everyone's mm -hmm. got an opinion, but it's like saying that the UK thing is like. We're bare behind them. Mm -hmm. And we are, bro. Like, here, it's that saying where they want to see you do well, but no one wants to see you go past a certain level. You know Out there, bro, it's a whole different mm -hmm. vibe. Like, people want to work. They want to help. They want to connect. Like, it's a little bit of, like, it's a little bit like the American dream. Like, they literally, like, live by that. You know what I mean? 100%. Here... It's, it's like, yeah, I don't know, bro. That conversation is a negative one uh, and it's an endless one. You get me? Endless, endless, but endless. I don't know, man. It is what it is. From yeah, yeah, we move. So place. what else is like cooking? Like what, we've got this new single, like what's... Uh -huh. Actually, no, let's touch on, you know what? Let's touch on the international side of things, bro. Like talk to me a little bit about like the overseas shows. Like where, where do you enjoy going? Like what, what's coming up that... You know, I know there's a couple of things coming up. We were just talking it off camera. Like, literally. talk about it, man. Talk about the overseas game because you, it's not like you're a stranger to like getting booked not. overseas. You of get me? Not. Do you know what it is? With those, like, one place where I'd love, like, that I love to go to a lot is where I'm going next week also is Napa. Jeez. Like, you feel me? The vibes over there is just different. You bump into a lot of people coming from the UK, but at the same time, there's a lot of separate people out there as well. And it's like, I performed in Sweden, I performed in Germany, like, all these different places. Because, like, you see with my Spotify, I'm proper into, like, intrigued to see where people listen to my music and i'll be seeing where everyone be listening to it and i'll have my team reach out to promoters Sick. from these places you feel me yeah your team yeah yeah the team is end yeah. they're, they're they're relentless that's the word you know what i mean relentless. you're a relentless top, top, top. man behind the scenes so that when really they see, be pushing the button for you when they see these tunes are doing good in that country i'll be like cool yeah let me hit up. up you get me and then we'll go there but yeah like the uk you don't want to just stay here like nah man. having big songs you need to for me travel you need to Go to Europe. Go to. I even went to. I did. A, I did a tour in Australia. Mad. Like they love the UK scene out there. Cause it's so Was that far. just you out there on your ones, Who's or were you there? supporting? No, I was by myself. That's crazy. I was by myself. Been out yet, Literally, still. they shouted me down there. It's mad far though. Like, yes, but <laughs> it's far, but it's worth it because no one goes out there. They appreciate anyone that goes there. Do you get so anyone from anywhere that they actually listen to. Yeah, and them not in Australia and like New Zealand. They fuck with a lot of they shit from here, right? With it. They fuck with the drill scene a lot. Yeah, oh, they love the drill scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. They love the drill scene. But yeah, man. the... Europe, overseas is where it's at. You feel me? UK, we shut it down every time I'm from it. Like, yeah. I feel like I've done like You've done everyone knows me here. Like there's you, only so much you can only so do much here, you right? Can do here. So now you feel me, America, all these big places trying to just venture out now, you get me? And talk to me a little bit about I commended you on it last week when we linked up mm -hmm. and I said the stage show. Oh, okay. Um and I weren't capping because mm -hmm. I've seen and been around hella performers. Mm -hmm. Like but not only do you take the craft super serious but the performance mm -hmm. 
is A1, bro. Mm. Like sometimes, you know, I can turn up, I might be DJing somewhere, someone might be booked. And you never know what you're going to get with certain man. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, it's understandable that new artists pop up and they've only got a little one, two track. Like, it, it, it's not their fault. Like, mm -hmm. that's the catalogue. Mm -hmm. So there's only so much they can do in mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're in an era now where it's a mad situation where when people don't know the joints, it's peak. It's very, it's very difficult as a DJ I'm sure for artists when they're trying to bust a new tune and no one's heard it 100%. they don't know uh -huh. their attention span is already down to 10 seconds uh -huh. even normally bro uh -huh. let alone when it's certain they don't know right mm -hmm. um, so I can forgive like certain man when they've just got a one tune and whatever and the, the performance is not all mm -hmm. there you know can only do a 5-10 minute PA mm -hmm. or whatever it is mm -hmm. your catalogue's strong and your performance game bro like I big you up on it last week. Like, mm. talk to me a little bit about the craft behind that because people come to one of your shows. Like, yeah. interaction, ten out of ten. Energy, ten out of ten. Like, you're on point, bro. Mm. Like, is that something that you you worked on coming into it? Is it just something that comes naturally? Like, talk to me a little bit about you that. You know, with that, like, my first ever performance was at one of my brethren's birthday party, full of Jamaicans. Yardy, 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 full on yardy party. Like, I was nervous. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was scared as hell. But like, from when I got a good reaction, I told myself, like, I will never allow myself to not be able to like, stand in front of a crown and stand my ground, whether they like it or whether they're mm. not like, they're going to make sure that I'm, I'm gonna make sure they listen to me until I've finished this whole entire set. So as I've come into the, as I've come up, the come up now and like bigger tunes are coming out and me bigger game book for more shows, I treat the crowd so my thing to say, I treat the crowd like I'm treating a girl that I'm trying to lotion. You feel me? Like I need to make sure I'm got everything under control. Like before I even <laughs> sing a song, I need to make sure I got everyone's attention, everyone's eyes is on me, everyone knows my stage presence is there. From when I got everyone's attention, it's now cool. Okay, so who's this person? Like he's kind of got my attention. So when they're locked in, we're locked in for real. Cause like you have to have a big voice, you have to talk to the crowd clear, make sure everyone's listening to what you're saying. So it's just a confidence thing. Like if you come on the stage with confidence, even if you, key, got, if you ain't got no tunes out, as long as you come with confidence, people- They'll pay attention. 100%. Is it hard to, was it hard to get to that? Do you think it came naturally? Like No, it came naturally still. Yeah? Yeah, man, I was a gala, so. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't nothing difficult to be on stage and chat to people, I ain't gonna lie. And is it like, are, it, are you always trying to, like do you always sit down with the team and like work out like, yo, we could switch? Is it always a constant, like, you we know can switch there so we can, or you've got a formula really, that kind of just been sitting for a minute and it works. I haven't really got too many yes men in my, like, that's the one, like, I like it and I don't like it at the same time. Because mm. you know you'd want your friends to just, like, show love every single time. Yeah, like, yeah, of course. Say, like, one person that loves to criticise is this guy called Mems. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Always, yeah. You always have, we got Mems. You always have something <laughs> to say, man, but, like, I take it on board, you feel Cause me? Because, like, yeah, he's trying to better the thing, people, isn't he's it? trying to better the thing. Like, sometimes I might have done something and be like, you could have done this, you could have done that. But now it's just got to a point where, like, I've just on point like no matter if it's a big crowd small crowd the key is always to treat them the same you feel me like i feel like it's kind of easier for me now anyway to have control of a bigger crowd with a smaller crowd sometimes mm. people could like the eyes could wander their minds could wander so with smaller crowds i feel like it's different compared to big crowds but energy always make sure i keep it the same yeah 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 no i hear that and what about like performers for you like or artists generally like who do you who are the guys that kind of inspire you bro not i'm not even talking just uk mm -hmm. man let's talk artists like Maybe some of the influences, bro. Like that's what I normally get into. Like oh, yeah. some of the influences that you. Who do you who do you listen to outside of like your you know what, thing? For stage presence, I look at Post Malone and Travis Scott. Oh, mad! Like I watched a lot of their performances, and it's like I like always wanted to kind of have that type of energy and reaction from a crowd, which is why sometimes I vary the type of songs I make specifically to get people into mosh pits. And, right, like, right, right. So Post Malone. I listen to musically and Travis Scott, like his stage presence, the way my man's on stage, like he's yeah, Travis is thing shuts is it down every crazy. time. Like he's he's a proper proper good performer still. So the, the, I'll say those two, mm. 100. percent I look to in music and how they are on stage because being on stage, I feel like as an artist, is definitely one of the most best things you can experience. Like people singing back lyrics, you took a long time to write, and then there's people just singing it word for word. It's the best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. Yeah, that's sick. What's it like when you know when a lot of artists throw out these like teasers or the previews mm -hmm. what's that like when you're getting the love back 
on a, maybe the socials or the DMs or however it goes down and then you're at a show and you might tease a joint and they know it like mm -hmm. does that show you that the, the, the thing's working like is, yeah, that, man. is that a testing ground for you or is that just a standard given that you're always going to preview joints before they come out and that's just a method basically to drop it's a good method to do but sometimes it could be it can work in your favour or not because if you're going to preview a song like you have to make sure it comes out because I've been preying a lot on TikTok a lot of people kind of saying like unless you're like Drake or something, no one's really waiting for you to drop kind yeah. of thing, you feel me? So if yeah. you've got a song and you've previewed it and people like it, drop it. Yeah, don't There's mess no, up, don't, don't wait around and try and think it's going to... Doing that extra stuff because people like... Attention, attention span. It goes like this, so as soon as you preview something, just get to dropping it, plan it, when it, just drop it, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, because people really want to just hear it. So the longer you keep showing them and it's not out, all those... Engage, all that engagement you had when you previewed it could have been towards could, streams. You feel me? Yeah, so like yeah, yeah. Because sure. it just things just die down quick. People so move quick. on to the the next thing quick, so man. So fast, so fast. It's mad. It's mad. Like they'll have one song on TikTok and then they'll be not. Like you got to keep up. I ain't gonna lie. If you're gonna be a part of it, like like I said, it's not for the week. You get me? You got to be able you need to, to jump in, like heavy. Make sure you're watching what's going on. Like it's very important to kind of do research. Like I've never been someone that liked to do revision yeah, in school, yeah, but yeah. for this music stuff, you kind of got to look into it. You feel me? Know when to pose, when know what not to pose. Know what your fans like. It's very important. Very yeah, important, yeah. So. so you spend a lot of time paying attention to all that. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I don't really like to be on my phone and not be productive. You feel me? Like if I might be on my phone, I need to be learning something. Yeah. You feel me? Do you, do you? Is there a fear of like? Is there any kind of fear that like, if you're not on point, the game's gonna like slip away? Like. Do you, you know what I mean? You've seen a lot of people come and go, like we were saying, like, or are you confident in the fact that, like, whatever is it, or like, whatever's gonna be is gonna be, or is do you again? Do you feel the do you feel pressure, bro? Like to, to keep you know it what? moving, like, or do you have really, spells or what? Like, I've it? never really felt pressure when it comes to this music stuff because I just see it as fun. Mm. Like, it's fun to me for me. Like I've got more pressures in real life, like helping out things yeah, with my facts. mom, siblings, like Big real facts. life stuff. You feel me? Real this life music shit. stuff. Like, I don't like to take it too seriously in the sense of, like, it makes me feel like it's a job because then it will feel like a drag. You yeah. Know? So I make sure, because there's another, I've just got so many wise things people have said to me over the years. Mm. It stuck with me. Like, there was this one guy as well, another guy that we met along the way. He was telling me, like, it's better to just have a plan. If you've got a plan B, you're kind of destined for yourself to fail. So it's the same with this music stuff. I told myself, like, I'm not giving, I'm not giving myself no excuses. Like, I'm making sure it works. Like, there's no way this ain't. Like manifestation, you feel me? Manifestation, I feel like, is very real. Yeah. So, like, in my head, you got, as a musician, as an artist, you got to be delusional. Like, you really got to. Burner said the same thing, know, bro. Like, you got to be. He said you got to be delusional in you your thing to the. And like, f like, that's it. You mm -hmm. just got to be delusional in your thing. Mm -hmm. And then people will say you're crazy at first, mm -hmm. and then they'll, then they'll jump people on the wave. People always show love when it starts popping off. But that's the thing with me, like, whether it's that or not, like, you kind of know who's showing real love and who's showing fake love, but regardless, like if you're showing love, whether it's real or fake, as long as it's for me, put money yeah, in my pocket, yeah, yeah. I'm not disturbing my peace, I don't mind. So I've always had in my head, like, there's no such thing as fail, like, I can't fail. Like, as long as I'm breathing and in this world, I'm always gonna prevail, you feel me? Always. Yeah, 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 no, I respect that. So we've got this new record. What else is like, what, we, what, what are you working on, man? Like, what's the plan for this year then? Like, what's, what's cooking? My what can plan. you tell us? Like, yeah, what's com what else is coming? It's like? literally like, Really and truly, I should have done this years ago, but I'm just solidifying myself only now. Like, people are only just kind of seeing me more on socials now. So, I'm trying to first make sure people know my name is Zaza yeah. and solidify that and literally just keep because there was a point where I didn't release a song for like a, nearly like five, six months. So, I went quiet for a minute. You feel me? So, I'm literally just trying to put songs out every other month. And with me, like, there's no rush. You feel me? Even though people like to make it seem like you haven't got all the time in the world, like, when you start thinking like that, it kind of puts too much pressure yeah, on you. It's not yeah, good to put yeah. pressure on yourself. Like, I've got time, you feel me? Because I've done it before, a few times, you feel me? All yeah. it takes is one song. And because now I know how to market it and actually push it and be where I need to be, I'm literally just watching, outside looking in, trying to put a few singles out and then just gradually get to a point where, cool, people have seen me, I'm still here, I haven't gone nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And me? the catalogue just keeps growing. You get me? And then drop an EP and then literally just take over. Like show people where I'm going because there's a lot of people that are doing their thing right now. But like, you see me, like, I want to take over the whole and like the way Sench, like, the, like I, I really like the way yeah, Sench has come across because like Fucking people hell. for some reason. 
think my man just came out like he's been doing no, music bro. for like ten years. He was before, rapping for time. Way before, way before. Like I knew of Sench time yeah, ago, time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because like like I'm trying to say TikTok's only become a thing, people are just thinking guys are just come out of nowhere. Like, nah. no. Like it's hard work, you feel me? And a team is very important and the way they strategized everything is important, you feel me? Because a lot of labels especially, if you are with a label, sometimes it's just UK based. But with him, he from young oh, the pa- yeah. Europe. You get me? As soon as you've done your thing here, Europe, America. Like, I feel like him especially now, personally, he's definitely the, one of the, not one of, he's the biggest artist. He, he, bro, literally, artist somebody said the other day, they said, man, this is facts, it's not, not gra- nothing groundbreaking. Mm-hmm. He's right now a trailblazer, bro. Like, mm-hmm. he's laying a path that's not been seen for anyone from here for us. Yes, we've Possibly. got man that are known stateside. Mm-hmm. We have mm-hmm. Skeppy, mm-hmm. Giggs, Dave. Big dogs. Also. Yeah, mm-hmm. big dogs in the game. They've mm-hmm. done... Tours, shows, etc. But mm-hmm. for the young gen, the, like, it's mad. S- you got to respect it. It's, got to respect the it's moves mad. are crazy. You see something happen, it. it's like all structured, mm-hmm. planned. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, the new joint just taking him to a whole different. It's mad just thing. working like wonders, isn't it? Mad thing, mad thing, mad thing. And in the urban scene, I don't really feel like I don't even think anyone's got a Billboard top twenty. In no, America. like he's no. definitely the first. That's person. gonna go top ten That's easy as well. Just a, it's just a sl- it's mm-hmm. just gonna rise and rise. Like, mm-hmm. That's my opinion anyway. But like. a lot of artists don't really like to take TikTok because I don't really like to call people TikTok rappers. Mm. But TikTok has definitely blown music up into a different type of proportion. Like compared to what it was when, uh, like in my era, mm. like if the songs in my era were now, like it would be a different story. Like yeah. TikTok just makes songs go because because everyone's on it. Mm. If a song goes viral, the whole entire world is seeing that song. You get me? So that's why, as much as people don't really want to be on the app, it's very important to kind of be somewhat on the app to kind of show people and showcase your music because it's making guys that never had any thought of doing music just blow up and just take it into a different type of game. You get me? So like, trust me, don't sleep on TikTok. TikTok is yeah, cool. and the game's always. I mean, bro, with anything now, creatively and. Mm-hmm everything's congested like mm-hmm. that's kind of unavoidable right mm-hmm. it's like whether you're a dj there's a million djs starting out now mm-hmm. artists there's a new rapper there's a million new rappers every day like but you've got to be in it mm-hmm. and if you're if your shit's good enough then it will take its course right mm-hmm. like people will, people will pay attention like mm-hmm. as statistic, statistically yeah 99 of people like fell when it comes to this music stuff, like there's like a very strong 1% that actually, and you see that 1%, that's just people that are still trying. The mm. 99% I just see is people that have just given up. Like you can't really go anywhere if you've given up. Like always try. Like if you're an upcoming artist, like even though you might, everyone cr- receives criticism, you feel me? But you got to take it as a, like a constructive criticism and like do what you want to do. Because at the end of the day, you ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah. Because that's what was, that was my thing. Like my life was You had nothing that to great. lose. You get me? So like <laughs> anything's better than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. always, feel me, have faith in yourself. It's very important. So you touched on it a little bit there, but like would that be some of the, some of the advice you would give to new artists coming in the game? Like what's a couple like key points? You just touched on a few there, but mm-hmm. what else would you want to add to that? That like if someone's starting out, they're maybe, they're thinking, oh, I think I can, I think I can do this. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Or but there's that fear factor, it might be the socials or, you know, the consistency angle. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, from your experience now, like, mm-hmm. what would be the key things you'd say to a young artist that's looking at it like, yeah, I think I can do this thing? Literally, one simple thing is, like, one thing I've realised, just being grown in general is, like, all the great things are behind fear. Like, anything that's easy is got, like, there's, there's, no mu- there's not much substance to fear. Anything that's behind fear, like me, for example, I can't swim. I could, like... Paddle a bit, but I can't be you're in the ocean. Next, you're getting nap as soon. That's what I'm saying. I'm coming to it. Like, <laughs> my boy really got me in the ocean, and I was weight, I was weight surfing, and actually managed to stand up. And it's like, after I was standing up and I fell back into the water, yeah. it's like, rah, like I feel very proud of myself because I was yeah. never in a million years yeah, gonna yeah, get in yeah. the ocean. You feel me? <laughs> so just stuff like that. That kind of showed me like, rah, like if you put your mind to it, you can do it. And once you've done it, you'll feel so pleased with yourself. But you don't want to ever live in fear and think, oh, what if? You see that water feeling that will beat you up yeah, for years. Yeah, so yeah. like, you just gotta have faith in yourself. You feel me? Be confident. Sometimes people have social anxiety, but I don't believe in that. You feel me? Like, I don't really believe in that stuff. Like, you really just gotta kind of just Jump take in. time. Being alone, appreciate your own company, and you'll kind of understand yourself more. And then just come outside your bubble because everyone likes to be an introvert, be inside, not do nothing. Mm. Like I used to be like that. I had to 
my friends had to force me. I don't. I did not like coming outside. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. I was a mummy's boy. Just stay inside. You feel me? Clean. Do my thing. Don't go outside. Stay out of trouble. But sometimes you got to be outside to. You feel me? Network with people is important. So literally, be outside. Be yourself. Stay humble, and literally have confidence. Confidence. And it might be. You know what? For certain people, it might be even like small steps, bro. Like mm -hmm. things like might want to jump into the social media thing to show your personality mm -hmm. as a musician or even as a creative. And it might be one of them ones where you just got to trust your thing, post what you got to post and mm -hmm. be one of them people that maybe try not to look at mm -hmm. the comments. Like that mm -hmm. might be a step one. I don't mm -hmm. know. Do you know what I mean? I mean, everyone's different, no, right? No, Certain men say they don't look at the comments. Mm -hmm. rare, rare, rare. I look at all my comments. You got, I look all my yeah. Comments. And I say the same thing. If I'm posting an interview or I'm posting anything on socials, like mm -hmm. you want to know what people are saying. And more mm -hmm. time, like, Okay, unless you're a huge artist mm -hmm. getting negative comments. Mm. If you're like a smaller creative or you're just a starting out artist, mm -hmm. generally people are not gonna, you know, it's a dip, people are not gonna say nothing crazy negative on your own post. Yes, if like a platform or a blog picks up your thing, mm -hmm. just remember that the net is just, nobody's behind a keyboard man mm -hmm. like you mm -hmm. know what i mean i saw on Saturday, i was watching something yesterday and i literally said yo like if the internet cut out tomorrow a lot of people it's, long. it's like uh -huh. were you, what were you worrying for like literally. you ain't never gonna bump into some of these people in the street they're never mm -hmm. gonna say this shit to your face mm -hmm. like some people just you know negativity dies mm -hmm. sometimes people just say stuff bro literally. Like literally. you know what i mean because that's another touching on that point i had this tune with lil's big up lil's called glad you came like everybody like, I've never seen a song receive so much unnecessary hate mm. in my life. And I've never been a part of something like that. So me actually having been a part and being on that song kind of showed me, like, the more people hate, it just makes a song even bigger. Because, mm, mm, like, mm. after they started seeing people like Dave, Sench start posting a song, it kind of changed the narrative. You feel me? And it kind of just showed me, like, people are just, like, people sheep. just talk. Sheep. You know? People are just sheep. Yeah, bro. man. At the end of the day, do your thing, man. Literally. Because, like... When someone hates on something, it can still go big. When they like, it can still go big. At the end of the day, if you've got something out there, run with it. Run with it. You feel me? And I think just one more thing to add is like, this is a point for me is like mm -hmm. consistency, bro. Mm -hmm. It's a very, it's a very like intense time, like just in the world, full stop. Mm -hmm. Even with like in this music thing, like mm -hmm. I say, creatively, like people's attention spans, bro. Like they're, they, you, you just got to keep on it, mm -hmm. you've got to be always trying to do something mm -hmm. because I've always said it for years, like out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. like, I, that's always in my head. Mm -hmm. Like if they don't, if you don't tell them, if you don't tell the people you're doing something, yeah, you can make all the moves behind the scenes and get your bread and get your bookings, but the wider audience need to know about it, exactly. bro. Like exactly. try and document that shit. Mm -hmm. Like post up, like don't be scared to stand on your thing, innit? Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just be confident in your, in your, in your movement. 100%. Level. But, so we got this, you said the EP, what, before the end of the year or is that like next year? Before flex? the end of the year or the beginning of next year. Yeah. And Depends. what about like features? Who are you connecting with? Like what can we expect? Features, like, it's, I got something come with SJ still. Yeah? I got something come with SJ still. Okay. We cooked up something. So it's a different type of vibe for him. So you lot are going to kind of be like, oh, okay, this is kind of different. Because I've done some drill records, but like sometimes I like to get the drill rappers on a different type of vibe. Mm. You feel me? So it's mm. a different type of pocket and different type of market they could kind of hit. You feel me? So that was my thought process with this track that I got from. It's called, uh, what's it called? It's called uh, whatever. Yeah. You feel me? So when that drops. Run it up. Run it up. And there was a lot of talk recently about my man's uh, gang joint. A lot of oh. talk about the, like, yeah, 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 the yeah. remix is coming uh, or there's remixes coming. Uh -huh. What's your take on that record and you know, the remix side? I've man. always been a fan of Cairo still. Yeah. Like, I've always wanted him to like get the respect he deserves. And now like people are showing him the love. Mm. I appreciate it, you feel me? Like my man deserves a hundred percent. And regarding the remix, I feel like you should keep it UK, you know. Because sometimes mm. you see with these UK features, because sometimes you think it's such a big name, it's gonna do crazy numbers, like it doesn't work like that. No. You feel me? Sometimes people just like like let something be let them come over and you feel me, vibe with us. But personally I feel like you should keep it as a UK thing when it comes to the remix. So I was saying like Poser and yeah. Nems, personally I feel like Yeah, be yeah, yeah, proper both cold. cold. Proper cold, I feel like they'll fit their aesthetic nicely. Yeah, Nems as well, you know, another one like mm -hmm. consistency in the mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really like, feel like my man's in his, 
in his own lane, you he's know what I mean? Back stores, he's back and he just keeps it moving. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple of people try and say a couple of things, but you can't even knock the six, like he's you on can't. top, like he's Doing outside. Yourself. You know, I'm at the student parties week in, week out, and man are requesting these man's records, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. along with the goats, along mm -hmm. with the DBs mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the Skeppies and the Daves and the Senches and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. but, but you know, don't ever get it twisted. Like the young guys, like people, the amount of music pe people are taking in, mm -hmm. that's the only one difficult thing about the game as well, like mm -hmm. from a DJ perspective is like, people got their, what they like. So people always want to put that onto you, you know, mm -hmm. automatically like, yo, this is what I listen to, mm -hmm. so play this for me. But people forget that you're trying to, mm -hmm. you're trying to entertain an audience that's like, you've got to think about the wider mm -hmm. picture. Do you yes. know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. exactly. And um, yeah, that's the game, man. But exactly. what else do you want to touch on, bro? Like Girls, I can't lie. I need to kind of let people know and let guys know, especially like specifically with guys. You see, when it comes to this music stuff, we're just getting money in general. Like, girls come and go. Mm. You know what I mean? Girls come and go. Girls will always be there, but at the end of the day, you need to make sure your bag right. Yeah, you know yeah, so yeah. You need to, I'm just trying to let everybody know, like, as much as you might be into talking to girls and just spending a whole bunch of your time trying to talk to females, like, it's not worth it in the long run because in the long run, at the end of the day, you're going to want to get married. You're going to want to have a family, but you won't have nothing to show because you just spent most of your time talking to girls. So I just, because with me especially, I realised when I took more time into myself and just getting in my bag, girls will always be there, you feel me? Mm. Especially if you're a good man, you feel me, you're doing well for yourself. You'll, might, you'll meet a nice woman, but on the come up, like, if you're focused on something, just focus, you feel me? You feel man can get lost? Distractions. In girls are very, like, when it comes I to this music stuff, distraction. Yeah. Big, 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 especially for me, it was a big, big distraction because, like, they're there, like, yeah. they're alive, they want to be around you, they want to live the life, but, like, it could go like this. This music stuff's not forever, mm. so you kind of got to see the bigger picture, you feel me? There's nothing wrong with talking to girls, because sometimes people say, oh, just focus on money, da 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 da, -da. But if you just do that, yeah. you're not going to know then, how to talk yeah. to girls, and you're not going to be able to get a girl because you don't know how to talk to yeah, girls, yeah, yeah. you've just been focused on money, so it's just about balance, ba you feel me? Balance. It's just about balance, Yeah. A million percent. And yeah, try and just stay focused on you. Because you mm -hmm. if you blow and you've just got the one tune or you're just coming into the game, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that can take you off the path. The alcohol, mm -hmm. the, drugs the drugs as well. Do you know all what I mean? Like, man's seen it all. Like, all people can get caught up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's messy. The, the, maybe the pressure behind like the label deal, mm -hmm. the money involved, the mm -hmm. show money starts Don't coming in. Yourself. Don't lose yourself. But just remember, you man, you need a catalog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you mm -hmm. come and shut down the club, uh -huh. you ain't just doing a one track, wheeling it up me. 20 times and that's all you've got. Exactly. You need substance. Right. But yeah, anything else you want to touch on? No, that's all, man. We're locked in. We look forward still. to the new music. 100%, 100%. Club it. shows ringing off. Every other weekend. Um, yeah, we're yeah. outside. Firestar. Zyza, you know the vibes. Man. Outside. My Bless up, man. We're out.